In the quiet rural town of Adams, Tennessee, in the early 1800s, the Bell family became the center of one of the most terrifying and well-documented hauntings in American history, the haunting of the Bell Witch. The story begins in 1817 when John Bell, a farmer and respected member of the community, started noticing strange occurrences around his property. It started innocuously enough. Unexplained noises, such as the sound of chains dragging across the floor, knocking on doors and walls, and what seemed like the gnawing of rats on bedposts. These disturbances were unsettling, but the Bell family initially dismissed them as harmless. However, the disturbances quickly escalated, and the family began hearing whispers and faint voices, too quiet to understand, but eerily present in the home. The children reported hearing sounds of choking and gasping at night, and the family's youngest daughter, Betsy, was subjected to the most vicious attacks. Betsy would often wake up with bruises, handprints on her body, and even tufts of hair pulled from her scalp. The entity was not only violent, but also seemed intelligent, responding to questions and engaging in conversations. Word of the haunting spread quickly through the community, and soon neighbors and curious onlookers came to witness the phenomena for themselves. To their shock, the spirit would often reveal intimate details about the lives of these visitors, things no one else could have known. The entity became known as the Bell Witch, and its presence grew stronger and more malevolent over time. It seemed to have a particular hatred for John Bell, vowing to kill him before the haunting was over. One of the most famous witnesses to the haunting was General Andrew Jackson, who would later become the seventh president of the United States. Jackson had heard of the strange events and decided to visit the Bell Farm himself, along with a group of men to experience the haunting firsthand. According to legend, as Jackson and his entourage approached the Bell Farm, their wagon suddenly stopped and the horses refused to move. After trying everything to get the wagon going, Jackson reportedly exclaimed, By the eternal boys, this is the witch. At that moment, a disembodied female voice told Jackson that they could proceed, but that she would visit them later that night. That night, Jackson's men reported hearing strange noises, and one of them, who claimed to be a witch tamer, was allegedly attacked by an unseen force. The men begged Jackson to leave the farm, and the next morning they departed, with Jackson reportedly saying that he would rather face the British army than the Bell Witch. As the years went on, the Bell Witch's torment of the family continued, particularly focusing on John Bell. The entity's threats toward John grew more intense, and in 1820 he became seriously ill, suffering from mysterious convulsions and episodes of swelling in his throat. On December 20, 1820, John Bell passed away, and it was widely believed that the Bell Witch had finally made good on her promise. After his death, a strange vial of liquid was found near his bedside. When a drop was given to the family cat, it died instantly. The Bell Witch claimed credit for John Bell's death, and it was said that her laughter could be heard throughout the house during his funeral. Following John Bell's death, the haunting began to subside, though it never truly went away. Betsy Bell, who had endured years of physical and emotional torment, broke off her engagement to a local man named Joshua Gardner, whom the Bell Witch had vehemently opposed. The entity claimed to leave in 1821, but vowed to return in seven years. True to its word, the Bell Witch reappeared in 1828, albeit with much less intensity, focusing more on discussions of philosophy and the afterlife with John Bell Jr., the eldest son of the Bell family. After a few weeks, the entity left once more, this time stating it would return 107 years later in 1935. While there are no records of the Bell Witch's return in 1935, the legend endures. The Bell Witch has become an integral part of American folklore, inspiring books, movies, and countless ghost stories. The original Bell Farm is now a popular tourist destination, and the legend of the Bell Witch continues to fascinate and terrify those who hear it. The story of the Bell Witch is a reminder that some mysteries are never meant to be solved, and that the line between the natural and supernatural is sometimes disturbingly thin. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, the tale of the Bell Witch is a chilling account 
of a haunting that left an indelible mark on the Bell family and the small community of Adams, Tennessee, 